We must educate ourselves on the reality of the situation around us. We must engage with the science and look at the evidence of the changes that are occurring. Now, I realize I'm sort of preaching to the choir on this one since all of us are gathered here as students. However, once we've educated ourselves, we must educate those around us, friends, family, and everyone in between. Because the truth is that the current administration in this country shows a stark contrast between those who understand the facts and those who don't. Or worse, simply choose to ignore them. We all have a right to free speech and a right to peaceful protest, and we should absolutely use it. When you look back at the history of some of the greatest social movements, whether it's the women's rights, abolitionism, or the apartheid movement, some of their greatest victories were made when a critical mass took to the streets to peacefully demand change. And the Women's March that happened earlier this year is a brilliant example of the power of demonstration. More than four million men, women, and children around the globe took to the streets to peacefully demand action. And their voices ignited a global movement that is just getting started. And so on April 29th, we are marching again, this time for climate justice. I will be there alongside professors and students from the new school, and I would encourage everyone in this room to use this as a really good opportunity to get engaged. 